Whatever your opinion of the place, you have to admit that Longhorn Steakhouse does have at least some good food options, if you know what to order. But there are some items on the menu that you'll want to avoid completely, and here are some we can't recommend. Just because you're going to a steakhouse for dinner doesn't mean that you're required to have an unhealthy meal. In fact, if you're looking for something that's on the healthier side, there are plenty of lighter menu items that you can order at Longhorn Steakhouse. But while you may think that all the restaurant soup options would fit into that category, that's just not the case when it comes to the loaded potato soup. Is the loaded potato soup delicious? Sure it is. But perhaps that's because it contains nearly a third of the total amount of fat you should have in an entire day. And that's just for a small cup of the soup and not even a whole bowl. Do you really want to eat that much fat in what's basically just an appetizer? Who doesn't love a good burger every now and then? It's one of the most delicious foods on the planet, and you can usually expect a restaurant burger to be quite the indulgent treat. And that's the Longhorn Steakhouse Big Sky Burger. This burger is just over the top, and it feels way too heavy going down because in addition to half a pound of ground beef, the Big Sky Burger also features a mountain of prime rib and a shocking amount of Swiss cheese. Add to that the crispy onion straws, which are fried, of course, which brings the burger to a whopping 79 grams of fat, and you might soon be calling an ambulance instead of an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> While you won't be able to find the Blue Ridge Wedge Salad at every Longhorn Steakhouse location, it's garnered plenty of attention. But is it really worth it to go through all that trouble just to try it, or to even order it from the restaurant? We'd have to say no. Like the loaded potato soup, it's definitely not the healthiest option on the Longhorn Steakhouse menu. Yes, you are eating some veggies, and that's great, but when those veggies are doused in a creamy blue cheese sauce and come out with a mountain of bacon resting upon the lettuce leaves, you know you're not getting something that's very good for you. The Blue Ridge Wedge Salad has a whopping 46 grams of fat, which is way too much for a salad in our opinion. We're not going to tell you here which cut of meat you should order at a steakhouse. Everyone likes something different when it comes to steak. For a nice, tender meat without a ton of fat, you might want to go for a filet mignon. But if you want something that melts in your mouth even more, a ribeye might be the way to go. While we'll leave the cut up to you, we do have one suggestion for steak from any steakhouse, not just Longhorn. Don't order it well done. There are a few reasons for this. First of all, if you're going to a steakhouse, you most likely pay a high price for your meat, which means you probably want to truly enjoy the flavor of the cut you chose. And nothing robs a steak of its flavor, texture, and moisture like cooking it for too long. Taste is not the only reason you should avoid a well-done steak. There's also the possibility that the cook might not care that much about your food if you do, as they may think you don't know much about steak anyway. We suggest ordering medium-rare steak, but even if you don't like pink in your cooked meat, just don't order a steak well done. Another Longhorn Steakhouse menu item that we'd have to pass on is the breaded chicken tenders. It's not that there's anything particularly wrong with these chicken tenders. They're your standard breaded and somewhat flavorful pieces of chicken with sauce on the side. That's okay if you're at a fast food spot that offers hot dogs, hamburgers, and the like. But at a steakhouse, we'd urge you to try something that's worth the price of a sit-down restaurant dinner instead. Plus, Longhorn's specialty is not chicken, so you shouldn't expect a chicken dish that's usually a casual go-to to be incredible. And then there's the fact that you're passing up other unique menu items for simple chicken tenders. Plus, wouldn't you rather just have a steak at a steakhouse? If you're being dragged to Longhorn Steakhouse against your will, we'd suggest you offer a seafood option, or if you insist on chicken, the classic Parmesan-crusted chicken might be a more fun choice. While the chicken tenders aren't bad per se, you could get a dish that's downright memorable instead. And isn't that why you're going out to eat anyway? If you're looking for a healthier main dish option at Longhorn Steakhouse, then the Longhorn Salmon may be the best choice for you. It's not exactly a steakhouse specialty, but it still packs an impressive amount of protein. And at 7 ounces, this salmon only comes out to 300 calories, which is much lower than most of the steaks you'll find on the menu. The salmon is also customizable, as it comes in two sizes and your choice of a side and salad. All that being said, we still wouldn't recommend this option for your next Longhorn Steakhouse dinner. While the salmon might be one of the healthier items on the menu, it's still missing one thing, taste. That's right, it doesn't have much taste. Though Longhorn Steakhouse claims to use a bourbon glaze marinade, you can barely taste it within this dish. Rather, you get bland tasting fare that certainly can't compete with the steak. Are you wondering what you should get on the side of your steak? While different Longhorn locations have different side options available, you'll likely find the same side menu items at most places. You'll be offered a variety of cooked potatoes, mashed, baked, sweet, fried, and broccoli. None of these are a bad option, and they all could most likely complement your meal. However, there is one Longhorn Steakhouse side that we simply can't recommend, and that's the rice pilaf. This rice has hardly any flavor, and it almost forces you to pour on the salt. While you probably won't push the rice pilaf away from you in disgust, there's much better options. Now, I know what it comes with, but it's not what I want. Well, I'll come back when you make up your mind. Wait a minute. 
plenty of people really like the steakhouse mac and cheese, or mac and cheese in general for that matter. And we have to admit, it is tasty. It's super cheesy, and you'll find a wealth of bacon bits sprinkled throughout. Sounds heavenly, right? So you may be wondering why you shouldn't order it the next time you visit Longhorn Steakhouse. While the steakhouse mac and cheese may be good on its own, it might be too heavy to pair with the steak from the restaurant. With such a hearty amount of cheese and that added bacon, which brings a side dish to a whopping 610 calories per serving, you may not have room in your stomach to truly enjoy the rest of your meal. Instead of going for this ultra-heavy option, we'd suggest a lighter side dish like crispy Brussels sprouts or a fresh salad. That way, your side won't detract from the star of the show. Your steak, of course. Have you ever enjoyed a good plate of baby back ribs? When they're done right, they truly are glorious. But should you get the ribs you can find at Longhorn Steakhouse? In our opinion, you're better off leaving them behind. First of all, you have to consider the occasion before ordering ribs at a restaurant. Are you going on a first date or trying to make a good impression? In that case, you definitely shouldn't order the ribs. They're simply too messy to enjoy eating without getting a little dirty. And while at most restaurants, you can lower the mess factor by ordering a dry rub on your ribs, at Longhorn Steakhouse, you don't have that option. But even if you decide that you don't care about the mess, these baby back ribs just aren't that good. Firstly, they're brushed with a sweet and smoky barbecue sauce that's overpowering. So if you actually want to enjoy the taste of meat, you'll be out of luck. And so the result of eating these baby back ribs could be a sticky sweet mess that might not be worth the more than 800 calories you just consumed. Our advice? If you want some delicious beef, you should probably stick with a classic steak. Sometimes when you go out to eat, all you want is to throw back a nice beer with your meal. But Longhorn isn't known for having an impressive beer selection. Your local location may have more to offer, but at most locations, you're just going to get the most standard beers imaginable. Forget trying a new sour or an IPA from a local brewery. Instead, you'll have to settle for a beer that most beer enthusiasts would sneer at. But hey, why be picky? A beer is a beer is a beer, right? That's not always the case. And look at it this way. Why ruin a great meal with a mediocre beverage? Plus, when you're at a steakhouse, you're really better off going with some wine. A glass of red can take your steak dinner to another level. And even if wine isn't your thing, the restaurants also offer a wide selection of cocktails that might just wet your whistle. Would you like to have glasses, or do you prefer to drink directly from the bottle? Well, uh, glasses, I reckon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mash videos about your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.